Rich here, and today we are talking about technique. You might have recognized that lick, it's a lick from Thunderstruck by ACDC, and it is a prime example of an excellent, it's almost like a perfect, perfect exercise for practicing your left hand slurring technique. Now, technique is so hugely important, and the reason it's so important is because technique is like, is sort of like a language, it's sort of like vocabulary, like the larger technique you have, the larger and broader musical spectrum you can play with. Meaning like if you're if you're speaking English, the, the better vocabulary you have, the more complex sentence structure you can have, the more complex conversation you can have. It's just that simple. Technique is very much the same way. If you're very limited in your technique, your musical ideas, even though you might hear them, they won't come out fluidly through the guitar. You're gonna con constantly be fighting and you probably already recognize it, where you want, you hear a lick in your head, you know, maybe you hear like a Stevie Ray Vaughan type lick or something, and you just can't get there because you, your technique doesn't allow it. And rather than practicing the same old licks all day over and over and over again, hoping one day, maybe if I play guitar five years, every single day playing the same licks, I'll get it. It's just not, it doesn't work that way. Without practicing technique, you'll never get the technique that's important and you'll never be able to express those musical ideas that you hear in your head. Whether you're improvising or you're saying, oh, hey, there's a, you know, whatever, Kirk Hammett solo, or there's a, you know, Slash solo that I want to get, but I can't play that fast, and you don't know why. Well, the reason is, is technique. So today what I want to talk to you about is a bunch of different exercises to completely round out your playing so that you are uh, virtually limitless in your technical ability. Now, there's not... There's no one solution for every single technical issue, but the main issues that most players face are how to coordinate your left and right hands. Meaning, if you're playing and you get a lot of this sound, this is like, you know when you're trying to play fast? What's happening is your left hand and right hand aren't lining up and they're not hitting notes at the exact same time. One is getting to the string before the other. And in addition to that, Slurs, so like the Thunderstruck exercise, pull-offs and hammer-ons are another big one that players struggle with. Maybe sometimes their hammer-ons are great, but their pull-offs aren't, or vice versa. And in addition to that, sliding is another one, you know. That type of thing, right? Sliding is really important, especially if you have a big slide. You know, something like this. And the final one I want to talk about is bending, because bending is huge. Bending is something that you hear players do all the time. You know, that type of stuff. Mixed in with a whole bunch of other different combination of techniques, bending really is a huge musical tool. But it only, it, and it truly only ever works if it's in tune. You know, I, I hear some guitar players try to bend and they just go for the most maximum bend they can find. And a lot of the times it's not in tune because they're not thinking about the target note. They're just thinking bend. And that's not the right idea, you know. It's like if you're coming to a stop sign, you don't just slam on the brakes and everything, everyone and everything in the car flies forward. You adjust accordingly. And bending is the same thing. You don't just bend up to like a random spot, you have to adjust accordingly and find where your target is and bend towards that. So I'm going to teach you a bunch of exercises on how to improve all of those various techniques and if you practice them, I guarantee you that your technical ability will go from here to just, I mean the sky's the limit really, the, the more you practice these and the faster and more complicated you, you make them and you can adjust them to various ways depending on your playing you can really increase your technique very dramatically and very quickly, which will then allow all of your musical ideas to flow seamlessly through, from your head and your ear out of the guitar, and then you'll be playing the stuff that you always dreamed about. So follow me, and I'll show you some sweet technical exercises coming up right now. 